So, full metal hell here. We are out here with the Blade 200 QX on the King Kong 188 frame. And I'll tell you what, guys, I think this thing looks sweet, super sweet. <laughs> I really like it. Uh, something that I did since the build video, I had some tube, some little uh, rubber tubing that I put over top of those little nuts that were on the bottom. So I figured, you know, when it lands, it'll land on this uh, rubber tubing a little softer than landing on that hard uh, plastic nut. Because if that nut cracks, the motor is going to fall off because that's what holds on the motor. So I put these over top of those to protect them. And this thing looks sweet. I want to show you, got my little FPV uh, camera, which I'm going to fly around just for a minute. This battery is not, not fully charged. Uh, you know, we're only going to show it for a minute. And I have my monitor right here, so hopefully you guys will be able to see it in the camera. Then I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to put the Mobius on the front of this. It has a little dampening, uh, you know, stand just for that, just to put the Mobius or, uh, you know, you know, little uh, camera on top very nice because that was the problem with the stock uh, 200 qx there wasn't no place to put uh you know any kind of camera or anything uh so well you know they had that little stock camera that went on the bottom but uh to me this looks way cooler and i'm going to show you that it flies good and i'll show you something else you can do you can put a, m a much larger battery i have the this is the battery from the tarantula x6 and uh i have a little uh a little velcro um beeper here i just want to show you that you also have that option. Uh, I put a rubber band around the battery so it would hold the wires up. Just put a little rubber band here and put a little Velcro on the back of the alarm and just stick it on there. So we're gonna run it in this configuration first. Then I'll tell you what, I'm probably gonna end up taking this off and putting the Mobius on there. And I might take this off as well just for the weight of, you know, because the Mobius is uh, pretty heavy and this is already a little heavier than the stock. But you can't tell by the way it flies. It it flies fantastic, guys. It flies just as good as it always did and looks way cooler to me. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, I want you guys to see the, the picture here. So I'm gonna hold this up. All right, hopefully you can see that. And uh, got my Johnny Cash shirt on. <laughs> All right, so. As you can see, there's FPV. So we're going to go ahead and fly it before this battery dies. So you can see. And here we go. As you can see, she's real stable. I mean, just as stable as it ever was. I mean, that's hands off, guys, you know? So. And occasionally, I'll look down at the screen just to show you. FPV. Matter of fact, we can even fly it around FPV as long as I don't lose video. But I do want you guys to see what it looks like flying, so I'll tell you what, I'm going to come close here. Oh, I don't have my alarm plugged in either, so let me go ahead and turn it off real quick. It was a little windy today, as usual, in Central Florida for some odd reason. It's always windy by this pond as well, so. Once you guys to see this, maybe you can see it in the camera, I'm hoping. All right, we're gonna go ahead and fly it around for you too. I want you guys to see that she flies just like she always did. And this is in a green, this is green mode as well, guys. So the FPV, as you can see, it does work. I hope you guys can see that in the screen. I just wanted to give you an idea what the FPV looked like. But we're gonna go ahead and fly it around for you. So I want you also to see its flight characteristics. And this one flies really good, guys. The Blade 200 QX. I mean, yes, it might not have as much punch out as the uh, as the JJRC X1 or uh, the XK X251, but this one's a little better flyer than even the XK251. 
just a little smoother in its uh, transitions and turns. All right, we're gonna go ahead and flip it into blue mode, get a little more speed here. All right. It is a little bit more top heavy, you know, with all that stuff on top of there, so. We got a lot of stuff on it right now, but it's not too bad, as you can see. So let me go ahead and turn off the FPV. I don't want to kill that battery. And we're gonna take that little camera off too, the weight of that camera. Thing seems good, uh, board is good. Hopefully nothing here is touching or anything. These are all like concerns when you first build something. You gotta make sure it's all good. So, take off the weight of the FPV here. And uh, I'm gonna leave the, the alarm on there for the simple fact that it's kind of hard to see that light now in the back. I mean, you can see it. I'll try to bring it closer. You can see it, but it's not like it was before where you could tell if, you know. But the bottom lights blink as well. So you will know if it goes into LVC, the little lights. And I'll tell you what, at nighttime, the way I have the lights on this look pretty good. It's still a good night flyer. And I, uh, you know, and I like it now. I like it better with the green in the front. And I put the red in the back. I tell you what, I'm digging this build, guys. I think it's really cool. I think it looks so much cooler than the stock uh, 200 QX. It uh, it flies so good. I mean, I mean, you know, look how I'm just able to keep it right here in front of me. Where normally, you know, I'd be struggling going up and down and everywhere trying to keep it. It's just so smooth. It's such a good flyer. And this frame, uh, I must tell you guys, this frame looks way cooler, and it's going to be a lot stronger way stronger this will be able to take a crash a little better than that stock frame that's for sure I just like the fact it looks like a little you know little mini FPV racer now I'll do a little punch out for you too we'll go out here and do a little punch out for you guys So the punch out's the same, as, as you can tell. You know, that hasn't changed any. So it still does its cool little funnels and all that good stuff. Oop. Hmm. That was not what I was trying to do. <laughs> well, I guess we'll give it a little crash test to see how durable she is. Like I said though, this is going to be way more durable than the stock frame, that's for sure. Uh, that, Because if that was a stock frame right now, it would have broke, guys. That would have broke for sure. All right, let's check this battery. All right, we're at 3.78, which is uh, a good time to stop. I'm gonna go ahead and switch the battery and we'll be right back. With the fresh battery in the, uh, the King Kong 188 frame with the blade in uh, 200 QX guts. Uh, and the battery we're using now is from the JGRC X1. This is the X1 battery, which is a 1200 milliamp T cell. So we're going to go ahead and try this one out and fly around. The yaw on this quadcopter is awesome though. That's one thing I must tell you though. The blade products have a fantastic yaw. You know, you never have a problem with it being too slow. Always got a nice yaw. Does nice bank turns, you know.
does really nice bank turns. All right, so. So with the fresh battery, it does definitely fly a little bit better. It's like the, the extra weight, I think, with, when the battery starts getting low, you can tell. But as long as you got uh, some juice, like I'm doing some good funnels right now, and don't seem to have any problem. But when the battery drops, though, you can tell a little bit. It will start to drop when you do, when you do uh, extreme funnels like that, where with the stock frame, it really didn't. But you could also put a much larger battery on here, which I have right now, than the stock battery. Ooh. And I tell you what, if you turn too sharp in blue mode, I guess the rates are probably set up for the stock frame. It'll almost do a flip. See that, guys? And lose altitude. So I might have to go in there and just, uh, might have to adjust a couple things. Uh, just for this frame that's what I'm talking about right there but as long as you fly smooth it's fine I'll say as long as you don't make no really really super crazy uh FPV racer type turn it's fine still does its nice bank turns as well it's just when you uh try to turn real sharp like a well that's good. Yeah, like right there, it almost will do a flip if you get too extreme with it. Like that right there. So, just needs a little fine tweaking and tuning maybe for this particular frame. But uh, I'll tell you what, I like the way it flies. It flies really good. Uh, this does have a rate mode as well. A blade, they call it. Uh, they call it something else. They call it uh, the agility mode, I believe. See, right there, it gets a little too crazy in the turns right there. So we're gonna have to do a little adjusting. But all in all, I like the way it's flying right now. Actually, very happy with this build. I like the fact that I could have my alarm on there. When it starts beeping, I know it's time to land. The fact that I could put an FPV on there now. Uh, there's plenty of room to put my FPV system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the Mobius on here just to fly it around for a minute, guys. Hopefully, got enough battery power though. It's not gonna go fast. We're actually gonna put it in green mode. Mobius cam on the King Kong 188 frame.
I think it flew fantastic with that on there, no problem. It was like it wasn't even on there, and it flew so smooth, guys. It was really smooth. Can't wait to see what the video looks like with these little dampeners that it has. I'm about to go inside and, uh, and edit this video and uh, put it out for you guys. Just want to let you see what it looked like from the other side. I know you got the bird's eye view, but I wanted you guys to see what it looks like with the Mobius on it. Anyway, guys, peace.